Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Exlibris. It's been uh, two weeks instead of one, but it was for a good cause. Many bookish things happened the previous week, but I will discuss about them in the next episodes. Today we've got an interview. Uh, we have interviewed Sophie's Corner, um, I mean Sophie herself, that is. Uh, Sophie's Corner is a bookish blog out there and Sophie is a super friendly and very sympathetic uh, blogger. Her blog is a uh, very nice she, uh, posts about her reading but also her writing and her personal thoughts about reading and writing and everything in between and say well it's a very interesting and uh, as I said super friendly blog and uh, you can always check it out and uh, follow her or not. I, uh, she's um, uh, a very nice uh, person besides and she has accepted my invitation for an interview. So today we're gonna have a discussion with Sophie about well books and reading and writing and of course blogging. Well with not Without much further ado, let's uh, listen to uh, the interview. Hello, Sophie. Welcome to Ex Libris. Hello. Uh, as I've said uh, earlier uh, to our listeners, uh, you're one of uh, my favorite uh, bloggers, book bloggers, that is. And I'm really honored you have agreed to appear in Ex Libris and discuss uh, our common interests. Oh, thank you very much. I feel honored that, uh, you know, you uh, like my blog and that I'm on your podcast. I'm actually very extremely nervous to be speaking, um, I guess, online today. <laughs> no worries. Okay, alrighty. It's uh, it's totally you know uh, amateur stuff uh, for uh, mm -hmm. you know for the community for the bookish community, and mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a friendly community I've seen uh, both uh, in uh, WordPress and uh, Instagram and Goodreads, mm -hmm. uh, lots of friendly people. Okay, already. Yeah. So, uh, would you care to uh, say a few words about uh, your blog to our listeners? All right, so my blog is uh, titled Sophie's Corner. Um, and essentially it is a website where I talk about the books that I read as well as my current writing projects. And once in a while I um, have a few random posts here and there about topics that I'm interested in such as my travels um, or um, some of the... Um, Things that some of the thoughts that cross my mind from time to time. So it's uh, a collection of things that um, I like to share with the bookish community and hopefully um, discover other bloggers or other people who share these interests as well. Okay, that's so good. And uh, I know from first hand experience that uh, your blog is, has a very uh, nice uh, or should i say balanced mix of uh you know writing and reviewing and uh general blogging and it's quite refreshing because uh there are so many blogs that uh, are just uh you know specialized in only one uh, of these uh activities but uh, your blog has a very nice it makes you more um uh, more real let's say <laughs> Well, thank you. I'm glad that you uh, like the balance of topics that I talk about. I think for myself, it's actually very hard to uh, say just talk about books um, because um, in my life, as well as I think um, many other people's, it's there's so much other things going on. So I kind of also like to write about um, a diverse number of topics um, just so that it uh, keeps me interested in writing as well. Yeah, and that's uh, your other uh, main activity, let's say, writing. But before we mm -hmm. get to writing, I'd, um, 
I'd like you to uh, say a few words to our listeners about the books you read. Uh, what are your favorite uh, genres of books and uh, what do you like or dislike in uh, what you read? Hmm, okay. I think um, I like to, for the past year or so, I've read um, quite a lot of contemporary fiction, uh, whether it's young adult or adult. Uh, however, in recent uh, weeks and months, I've been branching out into different genres. So I also enjoy um, books about mystery, um, about fantasy and science fiction. So I think I like a, a diverse number of um, different genres. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of what uh, I find most appealing about books is uh, strong characters who are relatable and also realistic. Um, I love books that uh, in which the characters have their own stories, they have made mistakes, they're not perfect. Um, and one of the things that really annoys me about books um, is when characters um, are all so beautiful and perfect that they don't seem real. Oh, yeah. So for, yeah, for me, uh, uh, what really makes or breaks it um, when it comes to reading a book is the characters and um, whether they appear, whether they seem to be a real human being. Right. Yeah. And uh, I know what you mean because we are, you know, especially in uh, your uh, in young adult, uh, uh -huh. there are too many characters that are, you know, so perfect. And I go like, yeah. I, well, I was never such a perfect child myself. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I exactly. And I feel like that does happen a lot in young adult fiction. However, there are uh, some books in that genre which are written very well. Um, however, I think for that reason, I have been reading um, more books in the adult uh, or like the general um, fiction genre as opposed to young adult these days. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, I see. And uh, it is <coughs> uh, the good thing is that uh, there are so many books uh, published nowadays. Uh, a great selection in almost every, uh, f or for every taste, I'd say. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm, yeah. Now, what about your writing? I mean, apart from blogging, of course, uh, you're also uh -huh. an author. <laughs> Not not a published one yet yes. yet, <laughs> but <laughs> you have recently finished your first uh, novel, your first draft, if you like. So, would you care to share with us a few details about it? Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually I I get very nervous talking about the novel that I finished, even to my closest friends. Um, so um, I guess I will try to uh, summarize it in a few sentences. Mm -hmm. um, so it sort of is a contemporary um, novel, sort of in the ro sort of in the romance genre, um, and it talks about um, the story of Olivia, who is an aspiring painter. Mm -hmm. um, and it also tells the story of uh, Matt, who is um, a single father um, who is sort of struggling to cope with um, a recent tragedy that has happened to him. Um, so I guess it's kind of about how um, they get to know each other and how um, they kind of how to make each other a better person. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. Nice. All right. That's nice. <laughs> yeah thank you yeah and it is um, uh, a real I know the struggle because I've uh, I've only written a few you know uh, short uh, stories mm -hmm. but I know uh, how frustrating it can be at times when you seem not able to find the right words for a dialogue or the right uh, way to carry on a plot and stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah I think at times it 
that does come easily. At, at times, it feels like the uh, characters are in my head and um, they're kind of doing their own thing. But sometimes mm -hmm. um, it gets hard as well, like when uh, I am stuck at a certain um, place in a plot and I don't really know how to move forward. So it's a mix of both. Yeah. It is, and uh, I, I just hope you. Ah, yeah, and you have also mentioned in a very nice uh, post in your blog uh, that uh, there's there's going to be a lot of uh, you know uh, reviewing and editing your uh, draft, uh, and it, uh, we have commented on the importance of a uh, proper uh, editing uh, of a uh, of a novel before uh, you know being available to the general public. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, what are your thoughts on you know uh, there there are many books out there, especially self published books that uh, seem mm -hmm. to lack this um uh, you know this detailed editing and reviewing what are your thoughts on that Well, I do feel that editing is very important um, and I think it may be harder for self published novels um I did look a bit into self-publishing and how it would work is that self-published authors should find an editor and hire an editor to look at their novel um, before um, having it um, tidied up for publication. And um, there are different types of editors. There's the editor who looks at your content, um, the content of your novel, and make sure that all of the plot points match up, that there's no plot holes, um, that the um, characters are uh, well-rounded and well-developed. So they will comment on the content of your book only. Okay. And there's also, um, I guess, proofreaders and copy editors who look at each word, the spelling and the grammar of things. So um, editing is definitely very complex and self-published authors would have to spend their own money to hire these um, people up front and it could be quite costly. Um, so I think I've read that um, some editors charge per word. It would be like 40 cents per word or something like that. Um, so to edit a novel, it could cost thousands of dollars. Uh, so okay. I can sort of understand why um, some self-published books um, and authors may uh, choose to skip that step and their novel wouldn't be as great um, at the end um, because of that. However, I do believe that um, it probably is a very good idea to um, it definitely is a good idea for a novel to be looked at by a professional editor before it comes uh, to the publication stage. Okay, I, I totally agree with you on that uh, subject. And um, uh, even if you can't really for the proper professional editing, I mean, uh, just uh, you know, uh, try to find some uh, some friends who are a little bit specialized in editing. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, just try to you know to make uh, some effort at least some effort mm -hmm. for publishing yeah or uh, you, you know in, at least in greece i know uh, uh, there are a couple of blogs that are bound to be more that actually help you with uh, mm -hmm. editing and uh, reviewing if you ask them mm -hmm. yeah for sure and i think it's um even if an author can't find or um, don't want to spend the cost up front, it would be good to at least find a few beta readers um, who have experience in um, reading books and making comments about it. So I think that would be um, that would be preferred. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So uh, let's go back to blogging, and uh, I'd love you to share with us uh, your, uh, you know, your thoughts on blogging. There are, you know, there's some controversy the past few, few months, maybe a year or so that, you know, uh, I've seen a like, number of articles uh, predicting the, you know, the end of blogging and stuff like that. What's your, uh, your uh, thoughts on that? Huh. Hmm. Let's see. So I feel like, um, it's actually the first that I've kind of heard about uh, about this. I'm just wondering, what is there, um, in the articles that you've read, what is their rationale that uh, 
they would think that blogging is coming to the end. Yeah, I I don't think there is rationale. I think it's just uh, you know statistics and uh, analytics they get, and they seem to that the popularity of many blogs uh, seems to be falling. But uh, maybe then that's why I'm asking for your thoughts on that. Maybe just uh, you know a local uh, thing, or it just uh, one uh, you know one uh, side of the coin, and um, you know I, I'm not convinced myself i mean maybe maybe some big uh, mm-hmm. popular blogs may be declining but uh, i've mm-hmm. found out so many interesting blogs like your blog and they 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 seem to be flourishing um yeah and i think um i mean in my experience in the blogging community i do um think that there are many blogs that i know that uh do have a lot of attention um, because they post fantastic content. Um, and I'm not sure about the big blogging community in general, whether it's declining or flourishing, but I do find that um, I do enjoy the blogging experience in general because um, I was able to meet a lot of um, fantastic people um, who take interest in this, uh, th- same things that I am interested in, such as books and writing. Um, so I think it's overall a great experience to be involved in that. Um, and I really do hope that blogging will continue to be, uh, I guess, a popular thing going forward. Yeah, me, me too. I, you know, I love blogging. And uh, personally, I tend to trust, uh, you know, blogs, blogs like yours, uh, I, let's say amateur blogs and friendly blogs mm-hmm. uh, rather than you know uh, the big uh, publishing industry blogs and uh, mm-hmm. your professional bloggers uh, and uh, yeah maybe maybe it's uh, we're in transition phase uh, because uh, many people are uh, really you know looking for uh, really original content and not just uh, you know marketing content mm-hmm. yeah and i do find that um I think much of the blogging community, if not all of the bloggers that I know, um, we have our own opinions and no one is paid to review a book or to make a specific type of blog post. And uh, that's what I kind of find valuable about the um, blog posts that I read um, and that may um, come across as unique compared to, um, I guess, professional bloggers or uh, blogs that um, are part of the publisher's websites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, would you care to, you know, to say a few words to our listeners? I mean, whatever you'd like to share with them besides what we have already discussed. Oh, okay. Um, I guess thank you for listening. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this episode today. Um, and be sure to check out some of Michael's other videos as well. Oh, thank you. So, uh, Sophie, uh, thank you very much <laughs> for uh, this interview. Uh, it was really interesting. Uh, dear listeners, I hope you liked uh, Sophie and uh, her blog is one of the nicest blogs out there. The links are going to be in the description as usual, so go check it out, leave a comment, and uh, I- I'll be around and discuss uh, with you maybe. So, uh, Sophie, thank you very much again for uh, your interview. Well, thank you for inviting me. Oh, I hope you liked the interview and uh, you, you may agree or disagree with with everything we've said, but feel free to comment and uh, of course uh, follow Sophie's blog and uh, subscribe to the channel. The links are as usual in the description, so feel free to use them and find us in all social media. I'd love to discuss with you about books. So that's all for now. See you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.